What's up guys, this is Matthew here with Gadget University and I'm here with my iPhone 4. I wanted to show you guys a little hands-on of uh, the initial setup for iOS 5. Now one of the newest features that um, Apple introduced at WDC, WWDC was the ability uh, of what they call PC free. So what this means is that out of the box when you power your device on, what's going to end up happening is you're not going to be required to take it to a computer all you need to do is just turn it on so let's go ahead and go through a little rundown of what it looks like and and uh, everything like that let's go ahead and show it slide to set up it's gonna ask you your languages this is something very similar to when you set up a Mac for the first time um, of course we're in the United States it's gonna ask me to connect to my Wi-Fi we'll go ahead and do that Okay, click next. Restore from iTunes. We're going to do that. Connect to iTunes and it's restoring. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, restore complete. My settings have been set up. It's going to reboot and then when it comes back up, it should have all my settings. Now iOS 5 introduced a lot of new features, um, too many to really name on this video, but one of the main things was the new lock screen with the uh, alerts that you can actually access by swiping from the lock screen as well as the new notification center um, and the new newsstand. So uh, we'll see in a second here, why does it keep out of focusing? If you look across the top, there's a little icon spinning. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's trying to set up, set me up on the iCloud. Oh, actually, it's syncing to my computer right now. So that's the new sync icon. Sign in with the Apple ID. Let's go ahead and sign in. Kind of lagged there for a second. Thanks. It's probably going to be a little laggy because uh, this, this is a beta. Okay, after you have your Apple ID and everything entered, it's going to take a moment and it's going to log in. In the background, I actually have some things uh, syncing up. Now, this is the iCloud servers, and as you can tell by the animation, anything that you set up on your computer is going to go to your iPad or your iPhone and iPod Touch and vice versa. So this is one of the coolest new features is you take a picture on your phone, download an app on your phone, um, everything, and it just syncs up with uh, the other devices. Uh, also, you do get free Find My iPhone as well. Um, I'm going to automatically send diagnostic, Diagnostics. I'm going to click Next. Hopefully it doesn't do another reboot. It looks like it's not really doing a reboot. It's doing what they call a respring of the uh, springboard so we'll see in a second I really apologize for these reflection here turn the light off okay Okay, we are now into the iPhone 4. Right off the bat, you still have your multitasking. Weirdest thing is, is it is actually syncing as we speak. There we go. I just found my current location. This is the new taskbar, notification bar, I mean, at the top. And right now it's actually syncing via the cloud. It is now downloading Rage HD and Infinity Blade. That's, that is cool. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm going to see what this lock screen, if you can see some things now. It's not going to show. All right, guys, this has been Matthew with Gadget University. 
Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to cover this more later in some more videos. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.